Hey friends, it's Dwight, I'm back. So I just came downstairs from my studio after doing another colander pour. Um, it turned out beautiful. I'm so excited to show you. So in just a second here, um, you'll see me talking about my paint and paint colors, my formula, and then the finished results. Okay guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again this weekend. Hey friends, here we are back in my studio. Hope you're having a great start to the week. So we're going to do another colander pour today, as you can see on the far right. And we're going to use these colors. Uh, I'm hoping to have the whites and the blues sort of mixed nicely together and the red sprinkled throughout. Now, if you watched my video yesterday, you saw that the red really exploded during the time lapse. It was beautiful. That painting's, where is this? Off to the side somewhere drying. So uh, we'll get to that. Uh, a little bit later after it dries. So here we go. Yeah, I'm using our Teza brand paints today again. This is Scarlet Red. This is a Pearl White. This is a Sky Blue. And this is Sky Blue with some silver and some of the Pearl White. And then my black paint is Artist Loft Soft Body Black. Now I mix all my paints, including the black paint, the same way. It's one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, and water to thin. Now remember, if you keep adding water and it still seems thick, Add more water. That's all you need to do. If you uh, make it too thin, you think it's way too watery, add more paint or add more Floetrol to thicken it up. Okay, guys, we're going to get started here in just a second. The canvas is a ooh, gently used, maybe. Or maybe it was abused. I don't know. Uh, it's gently used canvas here. I'm going to pour right on top of it. And um, let me set everything up and we'll get started here in just a second. Friends, it's Dwight. Here I am back for the walkthrough. Um, I'm loving this, and these um, colander pours are really quite awesome. So, I'm loving the details in this too. I mean, the cells are really cool. Once again, 
the reds and the blues, and there's so much movement towards the negative space. I love this area up here. And then these cells with the burgundy. Looks like little feathers. Yeah, folks, that's cool. I'm happy. I'm going to do more colander pours. This was more of an experiment on an old canvas. And I think I'm going to do a big one. I'm going to call this pinwheel. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you again this weekend.